I had the MRI yesterday. I I couldn't do a blog. I, I felt so out of sorts. Um, oh gosh, and today, terrified about the results. So the MRI went like this. I arrived and I was informed that um, my doctor had requested thoracic, which is from here down to the end of the lungs, and lumbar all the way down to the to the groin. Um, <laughs> MRI, which meant that I would, uh, for the lumbar, I'd have to go into this tube. You probably are aware that an MRI is a tube like this, a round tube, and inside it's white, and it's really dense. You can't focus on a point. It's just this white. And anyway, I'll take you through it. I was informed that I would have to go in feet first, which is which is what I normally have to do. And I would be at about to about here. <laughs> to about here. Now that's normal. My husband Jared was with me. My, my lovely husband, he comes in and he puts his hand here. However, for the thoracic, I would have to go to the other end, go in head first at the other end, right into the middle of this damn thing. When I went in feet first, my head was like a third of the way in. But for the thoracic, you have to be in the middle of this tube, right in the middle. So my face, head would be in the middle and I wouldn't have a, um, a reference point for um, like a gravity, if you like, or grounding reference point when I went in. Feet first, I could just see. At the very least, I could definitely see the other end of this of this tube or tunnel. And I asked, how long? And I was told, oh, you know, about half an hour each. I said, a whole hour? In that tube? I can't, I, no, 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 no. I can't do this. I'm a claustrophobic. I can't, I can't. I said, can, can we do half, half? I said, I don't know if I can do the other. So we just did the... The lumbar, which is feet first, husband was here, soothing words. They pulled me even further in than, than normal, so I couldn't see him. I started to get vertigo because this white tube was just white. Um, all I could see was white. So I, I, I had trouble with equilibrium, and I... Oh, and, and then I tried to look at the other end of the tunnel. I could just see a sliver. Okay, I'm okay. Because I thought I was going to be sick in there. They give you a, a panic button. But I wanted to get through this because I've got a little bit of pain. I want to know what it's all about. So what happened is they pulled me a little bit deeper. I think they were trying to get a little bit of a thoracic. At least the lower part. My husband told me afterwards that in order to, to keep his hand on my shoulder, he had to put the top part of his head in in that MRI machine. And you know what? Love is sticking your head in the MR in the MRI machine to comfort your loved one. And that's what he did. And that's love. So I keep making jokes about it. So I wait results. If I get a call, it's 24 hours. If I get a call from my doctor, I've got an appointment to see him in two weeks. If I get a call that he wants to see me urgently, well, then I'll, you know, <laughs> go into a bit of a tailspin. But I'm strong. And I'll, I'll cope with it. You have to be strong. You have to bloody well cope with it. So 
I also want to refer very quickly about letting go of, of anger, letting go of fear and forgiving yourself for, for having these feelings. They're natural. You're going to have them. It's so important to not only forgive the past and let it go, but forgive yourself and let it go. There's a lot going on. And when there is, it's a bit scary stuff. <laughs> That's when you have to get up. You have your shower. You wash your hair. Put makeup on. Get dressed. I've got a sparkly top on. So throughout the day, it's just, it's just so important. Um, so so this morning, I said I put makeup on. I, I have dark circles. I mean, I, I surgery and, and um, radiotherapy and so on. Um, Knocks you about a bit. It's a dark circle. That's okay. It's an easy fix, right? And that's all for now. Blessings to you. <laughs>